Okay, good evening, students. Welcome to Basic Electrical Laboratory Lectures. So, in this lecture, I am going to explain a measurement of three-phase power by two watt meter method for both uh, star as well as delta connections. See, for that, uh, we required uh, one volt meter, one ammeter, and two watt meters. Since the experiment title is two watt meter method, why we are using two watt meter method only? Because we can measure three-phase power. Whether the load is star connected or delta connected, whether this load is balanced or unbalanced, neutral point is there or not. In all such conditions, we can measure three phase power by two watt meter method. So the summation of these two watt meter readings will give three phase power consumed by the load, that is real power. So before doing the experiment, okay, before doing the experiment, you have to find the watt meter constants okay what is the constant for w1 and w2 okay because in watt meter 1 the voltage terminal is there no v there will be three voltage ranges 150 volt 300 volt and 600 volt you can select any voltage that is your choice okay and here also 150 300 and 600 will be there and in the watt meter okay or uh, suppose okay uh, back end of the watt meter there will be a, a current strips current coil strips will be there if the current coil strips so back end of the okay of uh, the watt meter the strips are there if the strips are connected like this low current range low current if the strips are connected vertically if the strips are connected vertically high current range high current range so where low current and high current is indicated see in this watt meter display okay there will be written some readings and all here okay 5 5 bar 10 means 5 is low current 10 is high current similarly in another watt meter they return 10 and 20 means 10 means low current 20 means high current before selecting those current you should see the how the strips are connected if the metallic strip is connected horizontal, low current. If the metallic strips are connected vertical, high current. So if the watt meter is in 5 bar 10, what is high current? The strip should connect like this, 10 ampere. Okay, 5 bar 10 ampere watt meter. If the, sorry, if the strips are connected like this, that is low current. Understood? So before you have to find the watt meter constant, we have general formula. V selected, voltage selected into current selected into power factor that is cos phi divided by full scale reading divided by full scale reading before doing the connection examiner okay or professor will ask find the watt meter constants without knowing watt meter constant they won't allow you to do the connections okay understood guys fine so V selected means in a watt meter you, you may get similar watt meter or maybe different watt meter. Some watt meter 0 to 750 and some watt meter 0 to 1500 watts will be there. So different full scale reading will be there. You should be very careful whether you get similar ratings or dif uh, dissimilar. Okay? But you are able to do in all other possibility cases. You may get same watt meters or different range watt meters. You have to do uh, carefully. So for irrespective of any range or any voltage values, this is the standard formula, watt meter constant. V selected, current selected into cos phi divided by full scale reading. See, voltage selected, what voltage you are going to select? Okay, I suggest you to select 300 volt in both the volt meters. Sorry, in watt meters, you select 300 volt range. So if I select a 300 volt range, and if the current selection is, so depending on how the strips are connected, if you want low current, if the strips are like this, you change to horizontal. Okay. If you need high current, then you can connect like the strips. Okay, got it. So let you can say selected current is 5 ampere according to the strips, and the range is uh, indicated on the watt meter. Okay. And power factor, we have unity power factors. All watt meters we have in laboratory unity power factors divided by full scale reading 
how much the reading it will be zero and this side will be the 750 watt whatever it may be that full scale reading you should write it now use this i find constant you may get one or two or three or four what constant you got you may get both watt meter same constant or both watt meter different constant you should explain the uh, professor how you calculate the watt meter constants before doing the corrections but this is a default formula okay what i suggest you can take first when you doing star correction select 5 ampere range okay or 10 ampere range in watt meters don't worry about it select 10 ampere range and voltage you select 300 volt that's it okay so now we can do the connections see when you doing the measurement of 3 phase 4 by 2 watt meter method you need not to connect the bottom terminals r dash y dash b dash to bottom in the board okay few more terminals are here that i won't consider not required for uh, three phase power measurement why means i am not connecting emitter in phase windings okay not at all required see first step you connect all top terminal to top okay all top terminal to top you connect okay and y you should connect to y y is connected to y very good and then b b is a good blue blue terminal b is connected to b you connect only the top terminals okay you can also do like this way finishing in terminals also you can connect it here okay but not required okay because i want to make star connection how to make star connection r dash y dash b dash if i short it become there itself in the load itself it become star connection otherwise what you are doing you are taking r dash here y dash you are connecting here b dash you are connecting here here you are doing star connection both are same no so don't use this wires itself okay don't consider this do it star and delta on the load bank itself okay got it however when writing circuit diagram you write whatever given in the manual okay understood guys okay if i connect like this and do it star connection here that is also recommended means it takes you more wires instead of that you take i connect it here itself same now so let we can do the connections see uh, watt meter i am connecting ammeter i am connecting ammeter in any one of the line either r line y line or b line okay so i am connecting the ammeter in r line like that i am writing the connections okay you can see your manual okay so starting r r is connected to starting of the ammeter that is common terminal and this 5 ampere see w1 watt meter is connected to r line okay current coil and w2 watt meter connected to b line connected to b line see here inside current coil will be there and here c and v there will be a potential coil and here current coil will be there and here potential coil will be there internally it will be there you don't connect uh, some inductor between m and f don't do like it okay guys start from here r is connected to ammeter ammeter another end is connected to ammeter another end is connected to m ammeter another is connected to m current coil will be there and l is connected to r and l is connected to r like this we should do see first connect current coils only see ammit r is connected to common of the ammeter 5 ampere is connected to m of the current coil of w1 and l is connected back to r means what is the meaning this r and this r are joined through ammeter and the current coil of watt meter like that will be there in the circuit diagram okay first you do the current coils next in y line in y line i not connected any ammeter or watt meters so y line y line to y line directly you connect it okay directly you connect y to y next is b dash in b dash i am not connecting ammeter directly watt meter so b dash okay uh, this one not b dash b b is connected to m of w2 
this B or B or L or B, B is connected to M of W2 and L is connected to B, M is connected to B. B is connected to M of W2 and L is connected to B. What is the meaning? This B and this B are joined through current coil of W2. Okay. See, now it is done. Now finally, what we should do? We have to short M and C. MC should get shorted. Okay. MC, short M and C. For, for both watt meters. Okay. Short M and C for both watt meters. Okay. Short M and C. Means this black wire and this not connected. It is wires passing. Okay. Insulation will be there around the, around the conductor. So M C you should short. What is left now? Potential coil. So this V. I recommend you select voltage value 300 volt irrespective of any range watt meter you got from the uh, instructor. Okay, got it. So 300 volt you select default. Okay. Now watt meter W1. Okay, that is connected to v, y line. That is connected back to y line. So w, W1 V is connected to y line. W1V is connected to Y line and W2V, W2V also connected to Y line. W2 voltage terminal is also connected to Y line. Okay. Keep in mind this V, this V, keep it in same range. If you got same full scale reading, if it is different, you can take 300 here, 600 there. Constant will change. That's it. Multiplying factor will going to change it. So next is for everything I done. What I should do now? I need to connect a meter. Where I should connect a meter? You connect a meter between R and sorry. You connect volt meter between R and Y. Okay. So from R line, I am connecting the ammeters. R is connected and Y line and Y line is connected to 600 volt. Okay. Well, from Y is connected to 600. Volt. Otherwise, you can connect to these two wires of both V and V to the middle terminal. Okay. Therefore, you can you can now connect another terminal to the supply. Uh, sorry, volt meter. Understood, guys? See, internally, uh, R is connected here. Okay. Supply uh, from the LCB, Y is connected here. And B is connected here. Okay. And there will be a toggle switch. This will be MCB on. And this side. MCB will be off if it is this side, MCB off if it is that side, MCB will be on. Understood guys? Now finally, I done everything, now I want to do delta star connection. Star connection means you just join this R dash connected to Y dash, Y dash connected to B dash. Okay? Otherwise, you can connect R dash here, Y dash here and B dash here or bottom to here. What you have done here now, that you can do it here, R dash, Y dash, B dash, same no, both are same. So, don't connect anything here, okay. In order to reduce the complexity, you do it on the lamp load bank itself, okay. R dash, Y dash, B dash, then it becomes star connection, okay. Once connection is done, everything, call the professor or instructor and explain them. So, so, so and so I connected W1 and W2 constants, watt meter constants, I got like this, why constants are required, because range is very less, we can measure higher power with smaller range, okay, because they given different voltage points, okay, got it, so with a small range, we can measure high power, that is called multiplying factor, okay, got it, so, and volt meters, Suppose the voltmeter full scale reading is 300 volt, selected terminal is 600 and voltmeter constant will be different. Voltage selected divided by, see here only voltage coil will be there. Voltage selected by full scale reading, that gives voltage constant. What is ammeter constant? Current selected divided by full scale reading of current, that gives ammeter constant. Okay, got it. So this is about star connection. Measurement of three phase power by 
2 watt meter method for star connected load. Call the professor once they check everything, and then you got green signal. Connect to this four wires. Okay, switch off the MCB, switch off the loads. Connect this four line terminals to the three phase supply lines. These four wires you connect to three phase supply lines. While connecting, make sure that in that three phase supply line also one MCB will be there. That MCB should be in off position. Very, very important. Otherwise, your life will be off. Okay? Out of order. Okay? You will get severe shock. Okay? Some, if you are weak, then you will get huge shock. If you are strong, somehow you can manage. Okay? After one week, it takes, you can recover back. So, don't play with electricity. Okay? Be careful. Be presence of mind. Okay? Be alert while doing the experiment. Understood guys? Now, this is about star connection. Then, Connect all these lines to the supply mains, switch on the MCB, switch on the loads, what you should do? Note down all beautiful readings, okay? And tabulate all these readings in your tabular column, okay? Later, find the uh, apparent power root 3 VLIL, root 3 VLIL from this should match summation of these two powers, okay? W1 and W2. So, this is power consumed, but here this one shows root 3 VLIL is what? Apparent power. Apparent power should be more than power consumed by the load. So next is how to do delta connection. See, as it is you maintain, as it is, you connect a meter 10 ampere range. For delta connection, this is for star. Next for delta, take 10 ampere range, okay, and remove this, okay, remove the shorted wires remove that uh, shorted wires here itself you do delta connection so that is clear see now how to make delta connections see uh, b dash b dash is connected to r first you do like that b dash is connected to r r dash is connected to y y dash is connected to b B dash is connected to R, R dash connected to Y, Y dash connected to B. It becomes delta. See what you are doing? Okay, B dash is connected to R, R dash connected to Y, Y dash connected to B. Same thing, if you take an R dash connecting here, Y dash here, B dash here, then how you are going to do? B dash is connected to R, R dash connected to Y, Y dash connected to B. Then it becomes delta. Understood guys, do it star and delta on the load bank itself for this experiment. For line and phase quantities, we have voltmeters in the finishing ends. So therefore, we should extend this. Understood guys, don't make direct connection from B to B dash, Y to Y dash, R to R dash. If you do that direct connection, you are very happy. You can see spark in the lamp load bank and uh, the board will get damaged. Okay, all things you will do, then you will get good marks also. Okay, so be very, be careful. Okay, marks is not important. Your life is important. Okay, so have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye. So I think I done all the experiments like this. Okay, virtual connections. How to do the connections on the experimental setup according to the circuit diagram. Okay, all these videos is applicable only for Satyagri College of Subtegri College of Engineering students. Other colleges, because each and every college, lab will be different, arrangement will be different, setup will be different. Okay guys, take care. Bye-bye.